Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video and I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked 3D palette for my eyes. So this is kind of a tutorial as well. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it yet, so it should be interesting. Alright, let's just get started. Um, so I'm going to start with my Urban Decay um, Original Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And, hey, don't get freaked out because I am using you as a mirror today. So, don't get creeped out by my vicinity. It's going to be close. So, let's just go ahead and rub-a-dub-dub -dub some eye potion primer on our eyes. Also, I just want to tell you guys, I'm one of those weird face makers when I put makeup on. So, that's also going to be kind of weird. I don't know why I keep my boxes. Do anybody else keep their makeup in their boxes? I do. I'm a weirdo. It's fine. Alright, so I'm going to probably start with Limit. Where does it go? Limit, that's usually what I use for my crease shade. I just blend it in the corner. I use it as my transition shade a lot of times because it's just a good, it's a good shade for that. So, that's what I use it for. Let's get a little more on there. I really love this palette because all of the, let me take my brushes over here, all of the shades and um, colors are actually just really pretty really fairly neutral until you get towards the end with the black heart but check out this color like really black with red flex oh just really pretty and they all go together really well so what do we want to do let's take liar yeah we're gonna take liar right there and we're gonna put that in our crease shade or in our crease to just darken it up a bit. Take it all the way, not all the way, but close to the inside. And we'll do the same thing on our other side. I like to bring it fairly close to the inside of my eye because I just think it makes my eyes look bigger. Just a little bit more on there. And we're gonna blend in just a second. So we have no harsh lines. We're just gonna take that and that first brush we used. Oh, and what I just put it on with was a pencil brush, a, a bigger pencil brush. And this is just the fluffy um, blender brush that comes in with the, the palette. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to take my Sigma E55 brush and take the color Trick right there, that golden shade. I like golden shades a lot because they seem to take to bring out the color of my green eyes really well. Golds and um, purples do that really well for me. So that's usually what I wear a lot of. I'm gonna put this on the inside. And then I think I'm wanting to darken up that outside just a little bit. So, oh, having a mess here with my brushes. So I'm going to take my smaller pencil brush, my E30 from Sigma. And I think I'm gonna take just a little bit of Mugshot, which is right there, and put that on my outside just to darken it up a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna use my finger, just blend it a little bit, some more Mugshot. in my crease up just a little bit a 
I'm sorry. Guys, I didn't realize I was covering the camera. There we are. And I'm going to blend that just a little bit more with my brush. There we are. I'm thinking just a little bit more mug shot. Darken it up just a bit. There we go. And then blend, blend, blend. You guys don't want any harsh lines, so. Back to blending. There. That's what the eyes look like. And I'm going to take that pencil brush that I was just using. I'm actually going to take some mug shot right underneath my eye. And use it as some liner. And then I'm going to do the same to the other side. I might actually take a little bit dark side which dark side is this closest to uh, black heart and then I'm going to use that as well just to darken it up a little bit and then on the inside I'm going to use trick which is what I use to fill the inside of my eyes and then I'm going to blend 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 There we go. Hey, there we are. So I'm done with my eyes. And now I'm going to do my face. So I am using, if you guys watch my channel at all, you already know, um, the Bare Skin Bare Minerals. The shake, shake, shake. And for that, I'm going to be using my Holy Grail, which is my Sigma F. Um, 80 flat top kabuki this is what I use just about every day to um, put my foundation on and I just cleaned it too so yay we get to use a clean brush on our face all right I'm just gonna use a couple drops of that and I'm going to just tap it in and here we go I like to use padding motions because I feel like that pushes it in better and then I'll swirl it. Oh, and with this, I don't use a primer unless I have a real big pore issues or a lot of blemishes like I do on my forehead, but I just want to keep my skin as light as possible because that helps prevent more breakouts. So, I'm going to need to get some more, just a couple more drops, we'll go with two, and then I blend my neck too, just so. so that it matches. Okay. And then for my forehead. I'll get up in my, my hairline. Oh, how do you guys like the fun button today? I'm loving it. <laughs> okay. See, and as you can tell, it already, like, has covered, even for how light of coverage it is, it covered the um, few blemishes I did have pretty well. So. Oh. Alright, and I'm going to actually skip my concealer today, too, 
because like I said, I'm trying to keep my skin just a little bit lighter. Usually I would conceal under my eyes and my blemishes, but um, I already have a lot going on with my skin texture wise that I don't want to add anymore. So what I'm going to do is I add just like a half a drop more of foundation on my back of my hand, but I'm going to just put that under here so that it gives it just a little bit more coverage under my eyes without the weight. And blend that out. And I'm just using my finger for this today. There we are. And then I'll just use highlighter to um to uh highlight that obviously. Okay, so we are using and I'm not gonna do a heavy I'm not gonna do bronzer or um contour today because it's just it's a really hot day out today so I'm just gonna do a little bit of blush and um some highlighter because I can't go day without highlighting highlighting is my favorite so today we're using the frat boy by the balm I just got this a couple days ago and I'm absolutely in love with this I mean look at it it's so pretty it goes on so light so let's do that just right on my cheeks you see that color and the pigmentation and the balm stuff if you guys haven't used anything by the balm I totally recommend it the balm has like such great pigment pigment pigmentation in their stuff it's ridiculous and you totally get your money's worth so and then we'll do the same side same on this side I got blush on. Okay, so now we're going to use back with the boxes. I don't know why I keep my boxes. It's weird. I know. All right, so for highlighter, I'm going to use the Mary Luminizer, which is also one of my favorite. And if you haven't heard, you need to hear. This stuff is the end all be all for my highlighter, I swear. Um, where's my highlighting brush? The pigmentation on this. Okay, so see my brush? One swipe. Look at that. It is so crazy pigmented that you just need very little bit. Do you see that? And it just picks up everything that you want it to. It's just amazing. Blend, blend, blend. Okay. So, that is all I'm going to do today. No contour, no bronzing. Um, so we did the eyes with the Urban Decay and the highlighting and cheeks by the balm. If you guys have any questions about the products that I listed below, uh, or listed, they'll be listed below. But if you have any questions about them, leave a comment and I'll, I'll get back to you guys. If you guys want to see anything specific, let me know. If you haven't yet and you want to be, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and become a part of the family and come and hang out with me. Um, so that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time, bye!